Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day so far. My name is Chris Stewart, I'm an innovation lead at Cisco, and in this demo series, we'll be covering the WebEx Contact Center Enterprise Administration Portal. This application was built for the business, which gives you total role-based control over your contact center. You can do it all from managing agents, teams, routing controls, and everything in between. I'm gonna take you through it, it's gonna be fun, let's just jump right into it. Let's start down here with security, which consists of role-based access groups, collections, and roles. Collections are a group of objects that can be any of the defined lists shown here. For simplicity, let's talk about people and I'll narrow the search to agents, displaying all the collections for this object. We can see there are two business divisions for agents, both Raleigh and New York City. Now let's say I need to add an agent who is just onboarded to my team into the Raleigh agent collection. I'll open this collection, quickly find the user on the right, I'll click to move over the user which turns it green, and this new agent is now associated with all things in the platform that point to the collection of Raleigh agents. And next we have groups. Groups are more typical for supervisors and admins because it gives you flexibility and control over a lot of things that you can manage. This diagram helps break down the relationship from objects to collections to groups. You group together objects into a collection, and then you can group together multiple collections into a group. Let's look into the supervisor group access, for example. We can see the number of users in it, we can edit the group, assign users to the group, or view collections associated to this group. On the left, we see that anyone who is assigned to this group will have full control over all of these collections in addition to the permission settings. If we want to add more collections to the group, we can do that by selecting it, using the arrows, and moving it over. And lastly, we have roles. Roles are sets of features that someone is assigned to in order to do and see certain things on the platform. So here I have a group of new supervisors and I don't want them to have the ability to manage routing controls just yet. I can just turn the feature button off here, which removes their access for it. So next up, let's look at the user tab. Users like supervisors will be configured to only be able to manage their team and users that roll up to them. To manage my users, I can use things like an agent ID to search or a username to find and edit the user. I can edit their user settings, add or remove skills, reset passwords, or even manage their access. This dashboard has everything you'll need to avoid IT tickets for high-level user changes. I can even add new users to my team by cloning an existing user. I just click the clone button, all the profile settings from one agent get applied to the new agent, and I just have to administer a few different unique profile settings, and I'm good to go. But what about skills? What good is an agent without skills-based routing? At the user level, I can click on this target icon or I can navigate to the skill panel on the left-hand side for a few more skilling options. Let's take a look at reskilling an agent. So I'll just click on Skill to Agent. I just search for the agent username in the left column, the middle shows me the skills currently applied to the agent, and the right shows me available skills that I can apply to the agent. I just simply select New Skills with a checkbox, apply them to the agent with this arrow, and then Save. But we can also schedule changes to be applied to an agent skill set in the future. For example, let's say a new marketing campaign is going to launch at 3 p.m. next Friday, which will affect all of your call volumes. Well, you can just create a schedule now that will be added to agent skills later and queue at a specific time. Just specify a date, specify the skills that you want to add and the agents that you want to receive them. When that time hits, the schedule goes active and agents can start receiving calls based on those new skill sets and you can stay on top of things. So next up, let's look at the Agent Teams panel, which gives you a snapshot into managing your own teams. I can view active agents and supervisors and have the tools for managing things like adding agents to the team or making changes to things like reason and wrap-up codes. These changes are applied in real time in the contact center for agents to begin using right in their desktop. So now that we understand at a high level security, roles, teams, and users, Let's jump into how we actually manage the routing strategies. Interaction Manager is where all routing strategies are built and handled. It's an intuitive drag and drop interface where interactions are created from beginning to end, from self-service to applying treatments, all the way through to routing calls to an agent. Agents who are properly skilled on Teams will be passed all the attached data to continue the interaction from where the customer left off within the IVR. A cool thing that business users really love here is that you can also build routing switches into your strategies. This gives the business the ability to modify the path of a call in certain situations. Let me show you what I mean. Control types can be any of the things here like dates, percentages, or simple switches. 
Once these are inserted into a call flow, they allow a business user to make changes like clicking on an emergency flag to change the call flow treatment as shown here. Think of it like a train system. With the help of your initial install, all the tracks are laid out and the business user gets the ability to move a switch to change the path of a train, or in this case, the path of a caller down a call flow. So you've got your inbound interactions, but you can also manage outbound campaigns in this portal too through the campaign panel. With the three tabs at the top, you have access to campaign controls, date and delay settings, and call progress analysis. All outbound settings can be fine-tuned while campaigns run, giving you the ability to make changes as you see fit to be applied into production in real time. And that's a quick summary of the admin portal. Thanks for joining in and be on the lookout for more content in the future. If you have any questions or want a live demo, reach out to your Cisco sales team or visit our website.